friends welcome to this new tutorial today i have here this lg stylo it's uh, an lg stylo 4 and the problem on it is the gmail account so first let's make sure that the phone is in uh, has a gmail account on it click on this arrow then it will ask you to log into the wi-fi and after you log into the wi-fi it will bring you to this screen so when you hit set as new it will ask you for the password that was set on the phone or you can use the gmail account instead so when you click use gmail account instead this phone is telling you here that this device was reset to continue signing with the with a google account that was previously synced on this device so since the guy doesn't remember uh, his password and his uh, which gmail account that he have on this phone that's why we are helping him today to bypass his gmail account all right so please guys do this method and follow these steps legally don't use uh, use it on other people's devices and uh, do it at your own risk okay so the first thing we will need we will need a memory card i have a memory card here then you need to go to the description of this video down below and you will find a link then you click on that link and it will bring you to this screen let me just share, share the screen so it will bring you to this screen and then from that screen you will hit let me see you're gonna go to download this is the option you're gonna click download this lg backup this is the lg backup this is the file that you need to download all right so once you click the link on the description of the video it will bring you to this page so you will download the file once you click download it will be downloaded and you will see it here it's right here then you're just gonna come here and you click on this arrow then you're gonna click show in folder and this is the link you're gonna copy this folder right click and hit copy then you will open let me put this memory card inside the, the memory card reader second so i put it then once i put the memory card inside the the computer i will go to computer here and i will open the memory card this is the memory card and i will right click and then paste paste the folder by the way i already have the folder here as you see so i'm not gonna like uh, paste it again so I already have it here in the memory card all right so then what I'm gonna do I will remove the memory card out from here and answer this memory card inside the phone that we are working on all right so let me put the memory card inside the phone all right so the memory card is inside the phone then we can follow the steps now all right so the first step we're gonna do we're gonna click accessibility and from accessibility we're gonna go to vision and from vision we're gonna turn the talk back on click here are you sure so once it once i turn this on we're gonna hear the talk back assistant okay click turn on talk back on talk back tutorial all right so from this screen we're gonna like just draw the what they call it the l shape like this so i'm gonna do it right now Alert then, global context menu. then we will Showing see the screen okay so once we see this screen we're gonna click on the talk back settings so to click on the talk back settings i will just click once one time to select it Talk back settings and then list twice. nine items. Okay. Talk back settings. So once I come to this screen, I will use two fingers to scroll up and down. I will go to showing up. I will go to talk back to items eleven to twenty four of this twenty nine. Here, click once. Talk back then tutorial. twice. Talk back tutorial. Then I will turn off this uh, assistance. Okay. The one click. Talk back off. So it's off now so now we can scroll uh, normal with just one finger all right so then from there we're gonna scroll down to help and feedback 
and from help and feedback we will go to about switch access for android so we're going to click on this option then we will find this video here in case you don't find this video you need to go to the second option so let's stop right here okay so now i'm just gonna go back in case you don't see the video here okay this is the video this is a youtube video all right so let's go back one step just in case you don't see this uh, screen on your phone okay go back so we're gonna go to the second option here get started with voice access and from there we're gonna go to turn on ok google then we're gonna scroll down fix issues with ok google then we will scroll down learn how to fix issues with ok google all right so we have the video right here all right so now let's go back this is this uh, this steps just in case you don't see the the video in the first link okay so let me go back let me go back to not get lost all right so we're gonna click on about switch access for android and from here we're gonna click here click on the video just outside you don't have to play the video then you see the watch here we're gonna click on this watch and once you click on this watch it will bring you to google so once it's bring uh, once it brings you here to google what you're going to do you're going to click here on the top then you will write maps all right so you see the maps here we're going to click on the first one then once you see the maps here you see the link we're going to click on this link we're going to click on this uh, google maps here and then from here we will uh, we will go to these three dots here these three lines and we will uh, hit the button start driving all right So once we are here, once the screen is open like this, once the map is loaded like this, we're going to click on the microphone on the top here and we will say open Google. Open Google. Opening Google. All right. So once we are here in Google, then we will say we will search for LG. We're going to click uh, LG. We're going to type LG. And this is what we are looking for LG mobile switch so we're gonna click here then we uh, we will have three options here in this screen so we will have uh, USB cable wireless and SD card so the file that we uh, already put on the phone uh, I mean on the memory card in the beginning that we download from the computer it will be here in the in the SD card okay so now we will click SD card and we will have here restore okay all right so once we are here in this screen what we're gonna do we will unselect all the options here except the downloaded apps so i unselect this unselect this unselect this unselect this all right so we'll, i leave only this one downloaded apps then i will hit next and it asks me are you sure yes restore all right so it's finished then i will restart the phone all right so i'm waiting for the phone to restart okay so once we are in this screen we're going to do the same steps because we will need to go to the to the same place where we left all right so i'm just going to read all the steps quickly so we're going to click accessibility from accessibility vision then turn the talk back on turn on then talk back on 
Top back tutorial. Shape Ringtone L. volume set to 50%. Then to Alert back global context menu. Settings. Top back settings. Enlist Double nine click. items. Top back then settings. Scroll. Use two fingers to scroll up. And Showing items. Talk eight, back tutorial. Click okay, here one tutorial. and twice. Top back to open tutorial. it. Then turn the talk back off. Top back off. Then we can scroll normal. We're going to go to help and feedback. Then from there, we're going to go to the first link. I mean, the first option. Now we have the video here. And from the video, we're going to click on the watch. We are just redoing the same steps we've done before. So now we're going to click on this here. And they will type maps. And click on the maps here then I will go to the maps link here Google Maps and then from here I will click on these three tabs and I will hit start driving once the once it's downloaded I'm just gonna click uh, on the microphone on the top here open Google opening Google all right so now I'm in uh, in Google so what I'm gonna do I will just click here and they will type okay so now what we're gonna search for we're gonna search for the quick uh, shortcut uh, maker quick I'm just gonna write it down here quick shortcut maker so this is the, the option that I'm uh, looking for click on it and once it opens here I will scroll down to the setup wizard it will be on the S setup wizard it will be on the S setup wizard Okay, so this is the setup wizard. I'm going to click on it. Then I will click on the third link here. So we have one, two, three. So this is the third one. I will click on it. And I will hit try. You see try here? I will click on this button here, try. Okay, so once I'm here, I will just hit start then the phone will go to uh, do the the settings again so the light turns off ah, okay so I don't have to do anything I'm just gonna wait until the phone reboots I'm sorry so once it shows me that screen the phone reboots by, by itself so once the phone reboots I'm just gonna wait until uh, the phone starts fresh. Still waiting for the phone to reboot. All right, so now it will take some time to uh, to start. I'm just gonna put the phone down and wait. All right, then once the phone finish, it will come to this screen and we will just hit the arrow. Then it will ask us to connect to Wi-Fi. Let me connect it to the Wi-Fi with the password. So the phone is, con is connecting to the Wi-Fi now. All right, so it takes too long, so let me go back, then connect, cancel, it's already connected, skip, continue. All right, so now it brings me to the screen where I can put my name.
which means the, the Gmail account is already removed. I'm just gonna hit here, no thanks, next. Skip anyway, not now, skip anyway. I agree. I agree, done. Et voilà, so now we are in the home screen. Later. So we are on the home screen. Close. Et voilà, so the problem is solved as you see. And uh, by the way, this method will work on uh, the G6 and G7 also. So yeah, that's all. If uh, this method worked for you, please hit the thumbs up. That will be a big help for me. And uh, if you have a friend who, uh, who needs this uh, method, just share the video with them. And uh, also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment area. And they will make sure to get uh, back to you as soon as I can. And that's it. Thanks and see you in the next video.